Good evening. So it's a Sunday morning and I've just woken up and I just thought, why why not do a quick QA? I've got quite a lot to catch you up on. Also, the thing that's crawling on the bottom of the screen is something I need to catch you up on. I asked on my Instagram story for you guys to ask me some questions. I said make them juicy, so I hope they are juicy. Did you get a cat? And if not, are you thinking about it? He's just had his breakfast. He's in a bit of a hyper funny half hour. So just stay here with me for one second. This is Phil. Phil is the cutest boy in the entire world. I've put in some photos because he's not being very cooperative right now and he just wants to go and play and I'm gonna let him play. I think about oh, three weeks ago I did get filled. It's been hard not to say anything or post any pictures online but I've just been really really enjoying my time with just me and Phil. But yeah I got Phil like the day after my birthday I think. I went to visit him like a couple weeks before that. He came from like a family home like I met the mum and dad. Like the mum's just like a family cat that has kittens like every three years or something. So it was all very good. Like he, he was very well looked after. It wasn't like dodgy or anything. Yeah but yeah he's literally just an angel. Like he oh my god he's perfect. And, like I have no regrets getting him. It's really nice as well because like he, he kind of like encourages me to be a bit more like at home. I'm more than happy to say no to night out now if it means I get to sit at home with Phil in my arms and watch a movie and he just falls asleep right on my chest. Every night he sleeps on my pillow. Like he literally sleeps like right here. He is the cutest thing in the entire world. This is his cat tree. He sleeps on the top of that there. He's so cute. Oh my god, look at him. Oh my god, I'm crying. This is a litter tray. It looks like a spaceship. Not gonna lie. He has stinky, stinky shit. It's not ideal. My flat does constantly smell like shit, even though I empty the litter every day. But it's a price I'm willing to pay if it means I get to have the most perfect sun in the world. So that's all I really have to show you about Phil, but like, I cannot stress to you enough how much I'm loving being a cat mum. I don't know what I did with my life before I became a cat mum. Like, this is my purpose in life. So now I've met Phil, that's that out of the way. He's a fucking angel. He came like litter trained and all, like what, what a babe. Hey, next someone said, do you regret your decision buying a house in Ireland? So obviously I was like fully set on moving back to Ireland. I pretty much hated London. Like, I don't know, I obviously moved like a shit time and then shit things happened. And I was like, I hate it here. I associated London with like all the shit that had happened and I just wanted to get out and have like a bit of stability, I guess. So I bought my house in Belfast and also I bought my house in Belfast because I had a boyfriend in Belfast and I said it wasn't for a boy, it was entirely for a boy. Tip of advice, don't buy houses because of boys. Not that literally anyone in their right mind would ever do that, but I've always wanted to buy a horse. It's like a great investment. It's also the only way I know how to invest money because I don't know what like a, a, a stock, what the fuck is a stock, I don't know what that is. So yeah, I don't regret it in that way. I moved to Belfast for about a week and I kind of got a glimpse of what my life would have been like if I lived in Belfast. And it was slightly just like, there wasn't much for me to do, which I should have known before I moved there, but like I wasn't content with it because things in London had like started to pick up a bit and I made loads of new friends in London and I was like having a lot of fun. And then I compared it to Belfast where like I wasn't doing anything during the day. I didn't like going out in Belfast. I really had pretty much fuck all to do. I came back to London for a bit and I was gonna like move my stuff over to Belfast for good. And I was having the best time and I was like, I literally can't do this. I cannot move, I cannot do commit. So last minute, literally like found a flat in like two days, moved in in about three days and told my mum and dad that I wasn't moving back to Belfast. That was a tough conversation. My, my dad like burst into tears. That was a bit dramatic from Graham. I don't know, like you know where I get it from now, but he was just so excited for me to move home and like he'd help me. He didn't help me get the house, but like he didn't pay for anything, but like the, <laughs> sorry, I get really like stressed when people think my parents pay for things for me, but um, like he helped me like sort out, sort out the mortgage, like the legal bit, because he, he does that as a job. So like, I was very invested in me moving home. I was very excited. And then I just like literally turned around like, psych, I'm not moving. And he cried and it was really upsetting. And like, I started crying. So long story short, no, I don't regret buying it because I was gonna buy a house at some point. It's great that it's near my parents and like, they're able to check up on it. And now I am like a landlord, I guess. And it's, it's a great, it's a great thing to have under the belt, a house. Cause like if things go tits up, then I can just sell the house. Like it's a good like security thing and like realistically with my job things are more than likely gonna go tits up. So this video is actually brought to you by Gymshark. Thank you Gymshark for sponsoring the next bit of this video. I've actually been working out quite a bit since I've got my cat since I'm living my new civilized lifestyle. I'm not turning a new yummy mummy essentially but I'm doing it in style with Gymshark. I wanted to show you some of the new stuff from Gymshark. So they brought this like new camo range which I think is really really nice. So I've been getting like this sports bra and shorts but it comes in leggings obviously. Just because I've been doing it at home I feel like I don't need the leggings because like I'm not going outside in the cold at all. This is like the top and shorts. I'll try it on for you. So this is it on. I think it's so cute. The, the good thing about Gymshark is like it's like such thick type material. It just sucks you in in all the right places. If you were going out and you felt a little bit too revealing, you could just put a wee hoodie over top. I think it's so cute. It's actually like Gymshark is the most flattering gym wear brand. This set is fill approved. It also comes in this really cute little khaki color, which I'm obsessed with. I love khaki with blonde hair. I mean, it goes with every hair, but I just think it like makes my hair stand out. They also sent me this, which I am obsessed with and I cannot wait to wear. Look at these leggings. Are they not incredible? I'm obsessed. 
obsessed and it comes with like a matching sports bra oh my god that set i might have to go to the gym just to flex and everyone in that set like that is so nice but yeah thank you so much to gymshark for sponsoring this video if you want to get some cute workout clothes because even if you work out at home like me i still think it makes a difference having workout clothes like it kind of encourages you to actually get off your bum but even if you just wanted to go get some coffee if you just want some cute athleisure wear then check out the link in my description pick up yourself some cute gymshark sets but yeah let's the video okay so third question someone said what happened with John? Oh, I think 99% of the questions on this Q&A were asking about John. Obviously, I made that video being like baking my ex a cake to get him back. That was a good like, I'm gonna say three months into our relationship. It wasn't actually like the very start. Like I just, I wanted to wait three months so that I was like 100% in it before I posted it on YouTube again. And then I think about two, three months after that, it, we basically broke up. <laughs> anything because i was so embarrassed because like on the internet it looks like our relationship lasted like three months but in reality it was like six okay so obviously we were doing long distance and our kind of end point was like me moving home and like we were getting like kind of like, like he wasn't gonna live in that house with me but he basically was and then obviously i decided i didn't want to move home anymore and we were kind of like okay so what does this mean for us because like i wasn't gonna move to belfast anymore and he didn't want to move to london like long distance is it's fine but like for long periods of time like when there's no end point it's a little bit shit before i like wasn't busy at all like i would do nothing i would have like three things to do the entire week so i could just facetime whenever like constantly like whenever he was free i was free but then i started getting a bit busier hello i started getting a bit busier in london and like i couldn't facetime as much and we kind of like drifted a bit and then yeah we broke up and i didn't say anything i never addressed it because i was literally embarrassed but, like i shouldn't be embarrassed because sometimes when you're 19 you are gonna break up with boyfriends it's a completely normal thing but it's just the fact it was so public i was like mm. it probably made it like worse that i didn't address the rumors because it just kind of made more rumors but yeah it, we broke up a long time ago so that kind of leads on to the next question do you wish you had kept your relationship more private yes a hundred percent from now on what i think i'm gonna do is like I don't want my relationship to be a complete secret because I've done that before and it came back to bite me in the ass because boys are fucking crazy. I remember these girls are crazy. No, 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 no. Boys are literally like, they're tapped. Anyway, moving on from that because I don't want to get into that because I literally will punch a wall. I've decided from now on what I'm going to do is <laughs> if I get in another relationship, I'm going to like keep it private but not secret. I've been seeing that a lot on TikTok recently. I just like, I would never make a YouTube video with a boy again like that. So that's, those days are behind me. Bolognese or carbonara? I'm gonna say bolognese. I used to put ketchup on my carbonara and then it would like go pink. It was really gross. <laughs> if you could make a YouTube video with Robert Pattinson, what would you do with him? The chapstick challenge. Ever gotten with more than one person in 24 hours? <laughs> yes, I have when I was like a very young. I used to move them up when I was very young. There were these things called Strathern Discos and you used to go to them when you were like 12 or 13. And you didn't go to have fun or to dance or listen to music. Like you went purely to get with as many people as you physically possibly could. Like people would be upwards of like 17, 18, 19 people at the age of 12. And like there were chaperones and all. Like were they just watching us all kiss like in the middle of this like church hall? With like Will I Am playing in the background. Oh my god, it was it was so intense. Like I don't even know. Maybe I got with like nine people one night. Okay, when I was twelve, probably probably did. I don't I don't quite remember the exact number, but it was probably around nine. I've never gotten with that many people since in one night. I don't even think I've ever gotten with like two people in one night since that. Okay, Phil is in his calm era, so he's he's chilling beside me now. Someone said, "Is that family with children still living beneath you?" No, they actually moved out two days ago. Isn't that interesting? Not that anyone cares, but hopefully they take their swing set with them because I'm sick and tired of looking at it. What's the worst thing you ever did as a child? One thing that probably springs to mind is I was a bit of like a trouble child. Not even a trouble child. Like I was just a bit of a fucking annoying child. Like my cousin group chat is called Crew42 because one time we went on holiday for I think five days and I, I cried 42 times. So one time we were in Cyprus, we used to go to Cyprus like every year, we had an apartment there and we had a restaurant underneath us. We, I don't know if I should say this, but like it's done now and my parents would never do it again and they can't really get done for neglecting now, can't they? But also like it wasn't really a thing back then, like I feel like everyone kind of did this. So there was a restaurant underneath our apartment. Like I was probably like four or five, my brother was seven and my, my sister was nine, like we weren't like babies and we were asleep at this point. 
I think my mum and dad went down to the restaurant underneath us just to have a quick like bite of dinner and then come back up. Like they were already gone, like I'd say 45 minutes. Basically, I woke up in the middle of the night and they obviously weren't there and I was like, you know what, let me just ruin their life for a second. And I climbed like behind a bed free and like in a corner like where no one could find me and just like, just like, just, like hid there. And I could hear them coming back and they like came into a room to check on us and I wasn't there. And I could hear them panicking. And I just didn't, I just didn't care. <laughs> and they were like shouting for me. I just sat there in silence. I was a psychopath. I was like that, you know, like the child in orphan, like that was me. And like, they were looking for ours. Like my mom was in tears, in hysterics. And here's me just being like, <laughs> like catch you if you fucking can. Terrible, I mean, I'm a terrible person. So if you think my parents are terrible for going for dinner and leaving me at home, like I'm 10 times more terrible for think, making them think I got kidnapped. So I said first time story. But should I tell you? No, I shouldn't. Maybe I should. Fuck it. No, I shouldn't. Okay. So basically, I'm not going to tell you what age I was, but I was too young. Let's just say that. And I just drank a full two litre, which if you don't know what that is, it's like a big two litre bottle of cider, but like the most disgusting cider you'll ever have in your life. It was called Frosty Jacks. Um, yeah. <laughs> Special, some would say. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any video ideas for me and Phil to do together, do let me know because like, you know, you've met him. I'm so glad you've met him because now I can post all my TikToks that I've had drafted for three weeks. Because I obviously wanted to tell you guys first on YouTube. But yeah, he's a little angel. I wish he was in this mood from the very start of the video. It would have been much, much nicer instead of him literally like climbing up my walls. What do you like? You're just, you're so random and goofy. Little Philly. He's named after Phil Dunphy if anyone's wondering. I love you.